I'm today in Munich at the Lean Kanban Central Europe Conference. And one of the keynotes is by Ken Beck. Well, Ken Beck is one of my heroes, eh? the godfather of extreme programming. And I'm really curious what he's going to talk about today. Uh, Ken, thanks uh, for your time to spend with me today. Well, thanks, Rini. Uh, we are at the Lean Kanban Central Europe Conference. You're about to give your keynote uh, today. Mm -hmm. What will it be about? It's about how uh, software development changes as the deployment cycle shrinks. Because I noticed that people would have seemingly very fundamental disagreements about uh, what good software development was. But if you dug below the surface, you will discover one person's delivering software once a year and somebody else is delivering software once a day. And of course things are going to be different, but when I looked into it, really, uh, the talk's called Software G-Forces and it's about how the acceleration of deployment mm -hmm. completely changes the shape of software development. And, and why do you focus on the deployment part? I think it was really a consequence of of trying to understand these these uh, disagreements. And I said, well, what, how could we explain this? And where is that going to come from? And as soon as I laid it out in terms of annual deployment, quarterly, monthly, weekly, daily, hourly, then, oh, it makes sense that, that this is, uh, pace, you have to do this, you can't do that at this pace. You, it's really the opposite. You yeah. can't do that and you have to do this thing. And probably you see companies shortening deployment cycles most of the time and their willingness to shorten it because they need to adapt to the market and to the changes, etc. Well, that's the natural trend. I mean, over the last, say, 20, 30 years of software development, the trend has been towards shorter deployment cycles. And I think that's because uh, the real lessons in software development come from production. And the more frequently you can deploy, the more feedback you can generate. But at some point, uh, you get so much feedback that you're overwhelmed. So yeah. people find some natural equilibrium point and they learn to live with that and then they can generate more feedback. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's also what, what I also teach, you know, feedback you should pull, pull forward as much as possible, but if you don't, it stacks and then you get an amount of feedback that you don't want to use anymore. Right. And then you're in, uh, in bad shape because then you see where to improve but you don't have the time right. to change stuff. Um, in, in your keynote, what's, let's say, the main message or what's the, let's say, the takeaway for the audience, you think? Well, it's really going to be different for, for everybody because uh, uh, one of the things I like about the talk is it's, it, everybody can feel good because somebody deploys slower than they do and everybody can feel challenged because somebody's deploying faster than they are. So they can look at what their situation is, they can say what are the barriers for us getting more feedback and if you eliminate them, then the natural consequence of that is that you're deploying faster. So it's, it's like running a marathon. There's always people that are running it slower. They're always running them faster. So there's always a next step. Right. And so the challenge is how can you get the most out of the gifts that you have? Well, what have you seen? What's, let's say, the, the, the deployment world record in, in software engineering uh, today? Well, I saw a presentation from Amazon and they... they uh, put new software into production several thousand times a day. Several thousand times a day. Because Amazon's built out of a bunch of services and each of those services is being updated multiple times per day. So if you just do the math, you end up with something like that. Cool, cool. So uh, if I listen to you, I say, well, if, if let's say a company starts uh, becoming more agile, they will look at the deployment uh, immediately, the deployment cycle, and the next step for them is to shorten it. Uh, to me, that's the kind of backwards thinking. So if you looked at your deployment cycle, um, if you cut it in half it's, or a quarter, it's going to be chaos. So uh, uh, I prefer to look at that and say, well, what's keeping us from deploying more frequently? Let's eliminate the need for that step. So if somebody's deploying once a year and they have a two-month manual uh, testing phase, what can they do to obsolete that testing phase? So once it's no longer finding any bugs because you have all of that optimized or you've moved the, the, those testing activities upstream, then you don't have to spend the two months anymore and then it would be stupid to just have software done and wait for two months. So your d deployment cycle shrinks. Exactly. So you, you should look from the other way around. And in fact, it's true. Eh? We should create more value. And the value is in the deployment, not in the development. Right. Okay. Ken, thanks for your time. I, I, you've, 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 you lighted the spark in my brain and I'm going to write about that. All thanks. Right. Thank you.
When working with experienced Scrum teams that have a different definition of done in place, I ask them to make a definition of undone. That is, I let them make a list of all the things they need to do after the sprint is finished, the software is done, until it's in production. Because all the items on the list are in fact impediments. After all, the real value of software is in its usage. So anything that prevents using the software is in fact an impediment for creating value. The same thing that I learned from Ken today. Deployment, it's the final twist before you go live. It's the final thing you do before you create value. So if you start looking at deployment uh, cycles at first and look what's preventing you from deploying, you will find a value-based value uh, impediment list that if you focus on the first thing and you take them away, you go faster automatically because you learn and you take the feedback forward. So, in fact, if you want to be agile as a team and you really would like to increase the value you deliver, look at your deployment cycle and look how you can speed it up. Because all the things that prevent you from deploying fast are in fact your most important impediments. And uh, Frans, have you taped it? Yeah, Gini, it's a wrap. And uh, what do you think about it? Well, it was interesting, but I don't quite agree with it. Well, why not? Well, being the final step being the most valuable one. Well, why not? Well, when I got married, the last step to the, towards the altar was not the most valuable one. No? It was the most costly one. <laughs> <laughs> this video blog is sponsored by ProWareness.